Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Waves. What's up, folks? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can optimize your list view by 175% using a special design pattern in Android called the View Holder Design Pattern. Now, this is an advanced topic. If you guys have not seen my previous videos where I created this list view, which you see over here in the image, please go back and check them out. Otherwise, you're not gonna understand anything. So, in this video, I'm gonna discuss the concept behind this view folder design pattern and in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to implement this so are you guys ready to start so first step let's talk about view recycling in my last video I had talked about how you can make the list view faster by 150 percent here we have the get view method if you guys remember this parameter convert view is null when you're creating a new row for the first time otherwise it's not null when you're recycling so we will see diagrammatically what recycling looks like but for now let's just focus on the code so here i have my get view method which i had been having since the last several videos if you guys remember there was the layout inflator and then i had this file which is r.layout.single row it contained a relative layout at the root and there were some views inside right and i was inflating that it was giving me this row object over here i was using this row object to find the image view set the image on that find the text view set the title find the text view number two and set the description right and then I return this row back to the list view so what is the problem with this code the problem is this the get view method gets called a lot of times layout inflation is a very expensive operation so do it only when you're creating a new row otherwise while recycling well try and find a way to avoid doing layout inflation another thing don't call find view by ID every time because find view by ID means that you're going to traverse your view hierarchy, find this appropriate object, load the parameters into Java and get this reference out here. And that, that is a lot of uh, work, you can say that. So again, do it only when creating new rows. So we are going to see how this recycling stuff works. So what are the challenges that we have to make the code faster? Number one challenge, layout inflation is very expensive try to reduce the number of calls to a minimum number two find view by id is also an expensive task and that is the and the reason for that is because it searches for your view object inside the entire view hierarchy now if you guys remember android follows a hierarchy of view objects where one is placed under the other just like a tree view you can see that inside the hierarchy viewer inside your uh, eclipse or android studio or whatever you use so we need a way to inflate only when recycling and also find the views only once inside your special class which is your view holder all right so let's just refresh what view recycling was all about here I have my list view which is currently empty it's not displaying any rows the user wants to see the first row so what does your list view do it calls your list adapter calls this get view method on your list adapter it has three parameters zero being the place where it's gonna come up it's like an array zero one two three and so on the second parameter I will show you what it does the third parameter is nothing but the list view itself so after this method was called all the steps that you wrote inside this method runs and then you see this row over here which has this image view this text view for the title this text view for the description right again the user wants to see the second row the list view is gonna call the get view method on the adapter with these three parameters with one being the second row again you see the second row over here same for the third row right now the user wants to see the fourth row for that he's gonna scroll down that means these are gonna go up right these three rows are gonna go up and here we are gonna draw the fourth row but just before we draw the fourth row think about this this first row over here is not being seen by the user anymore that means this object can be discarded but hey wait a second why discard the object when you can reuse it you can make things faster if you reuse this stuff over here so what we do is we simply try to get this view object over here which was nothing but this row over here which represents our relative layout which was the root file of our single row dot XML so now this object is passed over here before the creation of the fourth row all right so the fourth row now gets three parameters 
which is position which is 3 over here at this point this second parameter convert view is nothing but the old object being reused and then the parent which is our list view over here and then the fourth row is, has been made and finally it is shown to the user this is how view recycling works remember what view is not seen by the user can be reused and that is exactly what is happening that object is being passed over here to convert view all right so now let's discuss how to implement the view holder design pattern in android now this is going to be a bit complex you guys ready for this step one well create a class called view holder create references and blah 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 now let's see each of these steps in action first step create a class called view holder second step create references to your views now if you guys remember the structure of a row inside my list view there is an image view that contains the meme itself there is a title and there is a description both of them are text views right so here i'm gonna have my image view text view number one which is my title text view number two which is my description perform the find view by id initialization once in the constructor now if you guys remember one of the goals of our view holder design pattern was to ensure that find view by id gets called only once when the view holder is initialized so here inside my constructor in my view holder i'm gonna say find view by id now there is one thing you need to notice to call find view by id i need a reference of some view object and that is why i have passed this view v in the parameter list inside my constructor and there you see it says v dot find view by id image view text view and blah 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 so now what i have done here is nothing great i've just had three references over here to my image view and text views and if you guys notice i've also initialized them just once so now in the second part we are going to see how to overwrite the get view method now that we have created this class called my view holder remember this class and remember this parameter over here here is our get view method which you guys have been seeing all this time now if you guys remember what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say view row equals to convert view the first time you're creating a new row convert view is going to be null that means my view row is going to be null right and then i create a reference to my view holder class over here by saying my view holder holder is null so when creating a row for the first time perform the inflation and initialize the view holder so when do you know that you're creating a row for the first time very simple if row equals equals null that means you're creating a new row right now here perform your layout inflation by saying layout inflator blah 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 and then you're saying row equals to inflator dot inflate blah 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 and then take a look my view holder class has been initialized over here by saying holder equals to now new my view holder and take a look over here i have passed this row object inside this parameter list now if you guys remember this row object contains the relative layout which is the root view for my single row dot xml file that contains the other stuff inside right now if you go back here take a look this row object goes back inside here inside my view holder class it is responsible for initializing an image view my text view which contains the title and my text view which contains a description so at this point all these three views have been initialized so now hopefully you guys see the bigger picture of what is going on with this my view holder class now at this point remember only when we are creating a row for the first time we want to do all this mess all right otherwise we simply want to get the view holder for somewhere else so what i mean to say is store the view holder so that you don't create it again while recycling now if you guys remember this was the main idea because of which we made a view holder right because we just wanted to find the views once and not find them again and again right so store this holder so how will you store very simple if you guys remember this row object here has a special method called set tag which takes a parameter of type object in java so i can pass this holder inside and what will happen is that this row object which is my view is going to store this holder object inside all right you guys can definitely go ahead check the syntax of this 
it's nothing great there is just an object over here in, inside your parameter list now remember all these step steps you do only the first time when you're creating a new row and that means you do the layout inflation you uh, inflate the stuff over here you create the view holder and this one statement actually also does the work of doing the find view by ID right now what do you do when you're recycling very simple while recycling retrieve the stored holder object which you stored in the first step right so here I'm gonna simply say holder equals to row dot get tag now remember row dot get tag returns an object in Java which is of type object which is your Java dot lang dot object class so I'm gonna typecast it over here to my view holder and then store it inside holder and to be honest with you guys that's all to it this is our view holder design pattern it's done because every time you create a new row you're gonna do the inflation you're gonna do the find view by ID stuff inside this one statement over here and you're gonna store the holder and every time you recycle you simply retrieve the stored holder which means you're not doing the find view by ID every time all right so below very simple step set the values for all the views inside your row by accessing them through your view holder now if you guys remember our view holder class had an image view and two text views inside so I can simply access them by saying holder dot my image dot set image resource blah 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 my title dot set title my description dot set text right and this is gonna set the values now remember you have to set the values every time whether you're recycling or whether you're creating a row for the first time what only matters to you is that you do the layout inflation and the process of find view by ID the first time you're creating a new row otherwise you simply skip it this is how your view holder design pattern works in Android now I know this has been too much for you guys to take if you have not understood this you can definitely go through this bit again I understand this is a bit complicated in the next video I'm gonna go ahead implement this and show you guys exactly what happens but for now I hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys and thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day